creamy stir fry. Talk about an easy weeknight dinner. Absolutely delicious. It just takes minutes and it makes an incredible leftover for breakfast. Let's go. Here's some of what we need. Chicken breast that's sliced very thin, broccolini, a spice blend. I've got turmeric, garlic powder, smoked paprika, um, garlic, olive oil, salt, and some coconut aminos to finish. So we're gonna lay the chicken breast flat like this, okay? And then I'm gonna cut along and make thin pieces. And you make the knife a little bit flat. Do it flat like this. And just don't overthink it. Just get in there and start cutting. So you just cut along the line. By the way, I'm a person that feels like this is it's good to have one great knife and you use it again and again. And along with a paring knife and a carving set, I don't think you need more. I don't think you need a giant set. And on the so I'm gonna mix this together. And here's the thing, you can really use different spices. You can change this up so many different ways. Um, I, I love this blend, but this would be fantastic also with a hot paprika or some cayenne. So I've salted the chicken and you might think, why not put that on the spice blend? I'm not going to because I really wanna get it coated before I add the spice blend and the olive oil. Now I'm gonna add the spice mixture. And I'm going to toss it well, and then I'm going to be sure to add spices on the bottom also. And let's just toss and coat well before we add the olive oil. You can see I'm tossing this very well. Turmeric is the kind of spice you really have to get it cooked if you're going to use dried, so we want it evenly. And then I'm going to add the olive oil. And what I love about this is make the spice blend ahead on a Sunday, and then just whip this together when you get home. So this is all tossed really well. Let's get the broccolini cut, and then let's get a quick dinner. If you've never made broccolini, it's like the sister or the cousin of broccoli, it's absolutely my favorite. And I like to cut the stems small like that and then keep the uh, florets together. And I don't blanch it because I don't find that you need to. So I love to cut the florets off, but leave them intact. They are delicious and beautiful. So I get a tablespoon of olive oil and let's get this stir fried up. I'm gonna add the garlic and also, I'm going to do a sprinkle of salt on this. So I'm going to start to take the broccolini out. I like mine nice and crisp, but I'm going to kind of leave the garlic in because the garlic isn't as done as I want it to be. And you see, I'm going to use this bowl as where to put the food as I take it off and off. So I didn't get the garlic quite as brown as I wanted to. So what I did was pulled out most of the broccolini, left this in, and I'm browning it up for like another minute. Recipe is great, but you have to listen to the food. I'll just do it about a minute aside because I just want to get it kind of nice, but I do not want to dry it out. Flip them all over, start your timer right now, and then start to take them off with the ones that you flipped first. As they're done, just start to pull them off, and some, is gonna, you know, some are going to need an extra half minute. And they're still going to, um, even if they're not 100% done, as the other batch is getting done, these are going to get cooked through. So you see how I'm, I'm pulling these off, but over here, as I stick these in, they continue to cook. You can see it's hot, and they are going to be perfect by the time I get the next batch off. I'm doing the second batch. Really quickly spread everything out, try to get things flat, and I'm, I got it pretty darn hot here. I'm going to do it about a minute and then flip. Probably it would have been better if I had done these in more even batches because, of course, the smaller batch cooks much faster and is done quicker. Oh, these taste delicious. I just had a little taste. I'm going to push all this back in. And that is one heavy bowl, by the way. And we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of coconut aminos. And voila, we're done. This product, and we can't wait to dig in here and I'm gonna take out some right now and reserve it so that I can make a spectacular breakfast for tomorrow. So I'll show you that one tomorrow.